Carl Summer, president of Reliable EVM, has a wealth of machining experience. Having worked as a machinist, tool and die maker, foreman, tool designer, and operations manager, Carl now shares with you from his wealth of experience. Advanced EDM techniques for engineers. I have discovered that all one has to do is give a description of the capabilities of electrical discharge machining to engineers, and engineers can come up with all sorts of creative designs. EDM is one of the most accurate and cost-effective methods of machining, even for complex designs. I will provide a short overview of three main EDM processes. The first one is wire EDM, the second one is small hole EDM, and the third one is RAM or sinker EDM. For more details of these individual processes, watch the other training videos. Remember, any electrically conductive material may be EDM, whether soft aluminum or tungsten carbide. I have here now this spool of brass wire. We commonly use 12 thousandths diameter wire, but we can go down to 4 thousandths wire. We can go up to 45 degrees taper, as you can see this part over here. And wire EDM is a precision bandsaw that can cut within accuracies of plus or minus one-tenth of a thousand. And I want you to look at this diagram over here. This is a human hair, and we can cut one-twenty-fifth of the diameter of a human hair. Here's an example of the accuracy of wire EDM. This is a snowflake that we EDM'd, and it's made out of two pieces of tool steel. But I'm going to push it over to the edge and push it out. Slide over here. This gives you a little bit of an idea of the accuracy that we can do with wire EDM. One of the reasons why wire EDM can be so accurate is because we do skim cuts. Here is this part that I'm holding in my hand being skim cut with water just coming out of the nozzles. The next picture is done underwater. I'd like to explain the YEDM diagram that we have over here. Now, I want you to remember that the other videos that we have, there's a lot more detail. This is the wire electrode, and this is the dielectric fluid, which is basically deionized water, and this is the workpiece. And dielectric fluid acts as a resistor until enough voltage is applied. Then the fluid ionizes and sparks occur between the wire electrode and the workpiece. Sparks precisely melt and vaporize the material. And there's always a gap between the wire electrode and the workpiece. The wire never touches the workpiece. And so there's stress-free machining with wire EDM. Uh, these are some tall parts that we have EDM in our company. The part that I'm pulling out here is 38 inches long. And we can EDM parts up to 62 inches tall, to give you an idea. They don't make machines that big, but we have modified some of our machines. And now I'm going to let my son Steve, a mechanical engineer, introduce taper cutting. One of the uh, advantages of wire EDMing is the ability to create tapered parts. And the, how we do that is the upper head of a wire EDM machine, can, you can program it to move independently from the bottom head. And so by doing so, you can program, as you see here, this, this shape, it's kind of this U-shaped extrusion die, and it transformed into just a diameter. I'd like to demonstrate some other taper cutting possibilities. Here's the part we have here that was first EDM'd around, is a round circle on the bottom, and this shape on the top, and then this was EDM on the top. So you have a taper this way and this way. Here's the Statue of Liberty on one side, and here is the cross on the other side. Here's a unique piece that we do quite a bit in the oil field. It's a round hole on the bottom, and then we have a, like a half of a donut, and now you've got a shaft, and the mud can flow when they're drilling. And there's the round circle that came out of this part. 
Now let's examine small hole EDM. Here are some parts that were EDM with a small hole EDM machine and some electrodes. Let's examine the process. Here's the electrode and this is the workpiece and the high pressure dielectric fluid goes through the center of the electrode and sparking occurs eroding part of the workpiece and the electrode and the dielectric fluid and eroded particles are forced out and as you notice here the the electrode never touches the workpiece it's just a spark erosion and because of that we can go on a curved surface or even on a point let's go to the shop and examine small hole EDM working this is a CNC small hole EDM machine right now this is at 70 degrees and we can put it at different angles usually we do it in the vertical position and right now we're EDMing a small hole from this corner right into this cavity. Let's examine RAM EDM. I have some graphite electrodes on the table and here's a tall one but we have some real tall ones that we have used. And here's an example of a graphite electrode and it's usually used for blind cavities. And this is a hex electrode as you can see it's a blind cavity. Sometimes we go through and let's look at the diagram. RAM EDM, it's also called sinker EDM and plunge EDM. And this is the formed electrode. And a servo controls the gap between the electrode and the workpiece. This is the workpiece. This is dielectric oil. We don't use water with RAM EDM. We use dielectric oil, but it acts like a resistor. Sparks occur across the formed electrode the dielectric oil acts as an insulator until sufficient voltage breaks down the resistance. The oil ionizes and sparks occur which melts or vaporizes the material. And as again you can see, just like in other processes, the electrode never touches the workpiece. And here's a spark and it's a, all EDM is caused by spark erosion. Let's look at this hex shape being rough cut. I'm going to let my son, Steve Summer, explain the orbiting process. One of the unique features of the RAM EDM is the ability to orbit. A lot of times we will orbit an, uh, an electrode to put threads into a hardened piece of material or any type of material that's very difficult to machine or maybe a deep hole that needs threads. Another feature of orbiting is the ability to spiral orbit where you would take an electrode and move down in Z and twist in C at the same time. Another thing we can do with the RAM EDM is the, the traditional way of ramming is everything is normally done in Z. It pretty much comes down in the Z burn. There's also the ability to do a side burn where the electrode will just move you know, sideways. But another thing we can do is the take an electrode here and we can hold this and then move it in X Y and Z and so we can burn in any type of plane any type of angle and rotate it in C and then go back and do an, another X Y and Z burn and so any type of multi-directional cavity can be accomplished with the RAM EDM by using that, that feature. My son Steve Summer and I wrote this book, Complete EDM Handbook. It's used in colleges and trade school. It's free on our website. There's much more information about wire, RAM, and small hole EDM. Feel free to use it. Located in the heart of the high-tech energy capital of the world, Reliable has the largest EDM job shop capabilities in North America, specializing nationwide in wire, RAM, and small hole EDM. Our commitment to our customers and our passion for technology has made us the EDM specialists.